Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mob Impressions. Today we're looking at Mayhem in Single Valley. This is a fast-paced, puzzle-loaded action adventure. Save the world, all while dealing with housework, zombies, and radioactive animals who want to eat your face. We'll be discussing what the game is, deep diving into some features and mechanics, and my overall thoughts on if I recommend it or not. Mayhem in Single Valley goes for $14.99 US and will be available on Steam and the Epic Games Store. I played it on Steam. It was developed by Fluxcopic and published by Tiny Build. As usual, if you're interested in watching the playthroughs of any game I review, including this one, then head on over to my Let's Play YouTube channel, Mobby vs. Games VOD, and follow me on Twitch to catch our live streams. All links are in the description. The story follows a guy named Jack. He's just having a normal day, helping keeping his mother sane, tolerating his drunk dad, and taking care of his dog and little brother. He's also about to move out on his own and attend college when he notices some sketchy person dumping some sort of chemicals into the town river. All hell breaks out with animals being transformed into mouse and fugitive jerks who want to eat everyone. It's up to Jack to figure out who's behind it all and put an end to it. The game plays like both an action game but primarily a puzzle game. You don't have the best arsenal to defeat enemies but using your brain you'll solve environmental riddles and find secrets to take them down and help out your town. You have a jump, can pull, push items, and pick things up to drop and throw. You usually have one hit per life but can pick up trash can lids as an extra armor to tank a hit. As you get further along you'll have access to more equipment like a slingshot for better throwing skills and you even upgrade your existing gear using duct tape that is dropped from citizens that you help out. You can improve movement speed, swim speed, backpack capacity, and more. These upgrade materials are scattered throughout the maps and are optional and can be missed. The puzzles are pretty straightforward, starting out slowly but then getting more complicated, but as long as you take a step back and think, you'll be fine. There's also a journal that keeps you organized so you can track all of your quests neatly. The character controls pretty well. I was surprised with how smooth you're able to jump around and dodge rolling feels pretty satisfying. There's a lot of tense moments where you know you can't take down the enemies so you're forced to run and seek shelter. The graphics are top notch here. Even though they are pixel, the details and animations absolutely surprised me when I first saw them. The shadows, quality, and overall vibe the graphics were giving just seemed way above average. The game is pretty comedic too with a lot of the humor not only coming from the dialogue but the situations themselves. For example, there was a part where Jack came up to an overturned car which he thought everyone died in. Later on you realize someone is just chilling in there who doesn't want to be saved because they're listening to music. A lot of unexpected moments like that. This is a good game. I I'd recommend this easily. It's a fun little adventure and if you're into puzzles then you can't really can't go wrong here. Remember, all the footage you saw today was taken straight from my Let's Play channel where you can watch all the Mayhem and Single Valley gameplay I've uploaded. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time. Ho uh, hooch, it was cured. This is a curing? Curing solvent? I have a, I have a slingshot, but oh god. How do you use it? I don't know how to use my slingshot. Um, directional throw, throw, quest, inventory, shoot, swap, inventory, swap. I don't know. Maybe not yet. Oh, shit. Alright, what do I do here now? I think I was supposed to burn them all. Help! Ah! What? Why are they all still alive? They should have all died or something. Weird. I don't get it. Help me out of here, boy! Bob? Ah, oh, one moment. <laughs> oh, he actually was. 